Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train. And for the first time in a while, I did the majority of my grocery shopping at Sands Club. So I was kind of inspired after my Costco run a couple of weeks ago. I wanted to check it out, check all the prices, see if they were any better than Sam's. Now I know that Costco has a lot of better selection, but I also wanted to maybe do a couple of grocery hauls from Sam's just to kind of compare. And I forget who said it, but somebody had commented on my post and said that I should try like Sam's Club grocery pickup or something that I think she said that she goes every two weeks and does her meal plan every two weeks like that. And it works for her. So I wanted to try something similar for myself. Now I'm not doing a two week meal plan, but I did buy a bunch of stuff that I'm hoping will last me like a couple of weeks and I can kind of supplement from Walmart as well. And I'll be honest, Sam's Club did not disappoint me. I am super impressed with like their salad kits, their salad prices, uh, the prices of a lot of their produce. So I might be doing that more often. This weekend, I went to both Sam's Club and Walmart. I did a pickup from Walmart. So let's get into the haul now and I'll show you everything that I got. Super small haul from Walmart today, but some of this stuff here at Walmart, I didn't want to buy in bulk at Sam's. So I've got this. So down here, I bought a bag of shredded Parmesan to go in a dinner and some sliced cheddar cheese to go on some sandwiches. And then a block of cheese. I'm cubing this up to go with some crackers for snacks. And two containers of cottage cheese. I'm so glad I have my favorite brands again. And a bag of tortilla chips for a dinner. And for Allison, I got one of these turkey and cheese Lunchables for school. Then two cans of black beans for a dinner and a can of crushed tomatoes. Then some sour cream to go with some dinners. Some crackers here. These are going with the, the cheese cubes as snacks. And then I bought this Betty Crocker salted caramel brownie mix. John's going to a game night, so I'm just making that for him to take. And then lastly, it's just some frozen items. So I got a bag of meatballs for a soup, then a bag of frozen pepper and onions, and lastly, three bags of frozen broccoli. All right, here's my giant Sam's Club haul. I actually feel pretty good about all of this. So let's start over on this side. I got a two pound container of strawberries for Allison and her lunches and a bag of like chopped broccoli florets. This is actually a really good price for what you get. And just a bunch of bananas for breakfast and snacks. I saw this on the app and I knew that Allison would love it. So these are the Sargento Fun Balance Breaks. So there's eight all together in here. Four of them have like the mini Chips Ahoy and then the other ones have the Teddy Grahams. They all have cheese and a couple other things in them. So that looks pretty cool. Um, back here is a box of Barilla Pasta. So there's six boxes in here. So there's two penne, two spaghetti, and two elbows. These are the three main types we use anyway. So I thought that was pretty cool. And diced tomatoes. I This is a box of 12. So I did some pricing and saw that this was actually a little bit cheaper than buying I think even like store brand at Walmart. So I just got a huge box of those. Then a container of eggs. There are 24 in here. Then I got a big bag of garden salad. This is a two pound bag. Um, I'm just like using this in burrito bowls. Like instead of shredded lettuce, I just bought some of this and that way I've got like some carrots and other things in there too. And I got a big container of black forest ham to use for sandwiches. And um, back here, I got some Frigo string cheese. This brand in particular, I think is really good. Allison likes this one too, so it's for all of us to snack on. Uh, then a couple of salad kits. So one is the Members Mark Southwest Chopped Salad. This one is cheap. Like I can't find any salad kits that are this cheap anywhere else. And then this one is Taylor Farms, so it's a little bit more expensive, but this is the Ultimate Cheddar Ranch Chopped Salad Kit. As you can see, it says limited edition. So thought I would try that one. 
and um, a big package of salsa here. So this is two containers of the Pace Medium Salsa. We go through a lot in this house. And I got a big box of Go-Gurts for Allison. So there's the strawberry and berry flavor. Back here is a twin pack of the King's Hawaiian Rolls. So I'm gonna actually put one of these in the freezer. And then we've got the other one here for like slider sandwiches. Allison loves Hawaiian Rolls. So I'm like, let me just get one of those. And then the last thing for Sam's, we just got a big box of Cheez-Its. Now I thought at one point they had like half and half. So half original and half white cheddar, which is kind of what Allison wanted, but they didn't have that. So I just got the big original one. My total this weekend was $159.76. Now I had a lot of money left over from our previous grocery haul. Our typical budget for every week is $125. So te technically I went over for the week, but I still had extra money left over. Plus I have like 50 something dollars left in the Sam's Club fund. So if I need anything else for this week, like, oh, I forgot to get this, I can just take some of that money out of the Sam's fund. And I will say I was gonna do a pickup from Sam's, but it turns out that you have to pay $4 as a pickup fee unless you are a pro member. Um, if you're a pro member, it's free. So I really didn't want to pay the $4. So I went into the store and looked around. Okay, onto the menu for this week. So when I went to Costco a couple weeks ago, I bought a package of chicken sausages. It was really like two packages in one. So I used one of them for one meal last week. And then for this week, I'm using the other package to make a chicken sausage broccoli pasta. I've made this quite a few times and I love it. I will have that recipe linked below as well as any other recipes that I have. Next up is just simple burrito bowls. I love easy meals like this because I just have to take a can of beans, put some rice in the rice cooker, and then like mix it together with some lettuce, salsa, sour cream cheese. It's a super easy meal. Also ham and cheese sliders. I've been making sandwiches every week and for whatever reason, Allison doesn't like the sandwich bread that I buy, but she really likes the Hawaiian rolls. So I'm like, okay, well this time we'll do something different. I'll buy the Hawaiian rolls and then like she eats all her stuff separately anyway. She doesn't really eat sandwiches. They're deconstructed. So she'll enjoy that meal at least. Then the last big thing I'm making for dinner is an Italian meatball soup using those frozen and meatballs. It's really, really good. It has um, like pasta in it and tomato sauce, all sorts of other really good things. And then I know we're eating out one day this week. We have pancakes on our menu, but uh, the previous items, those are like some of the bigger things we're having. And then breakfast, I'm making an egg and cheese casserole. So that big bag of broccoli, I think I'm only using about half of it for the pasta. So I think I might take the other half chop it up pretty fine and then add it to the egg casserole just for a little bit of extra veggies. Before I end the video today, I do wanna give you an update on my cross stitching like I have been in most of these grocery haul videos. I was working on a pastel colored Nintendo Switch for Allison and I just finished that this past week. It was a nice little smaller project. I think it took me 25, 26 hours or something to complete it, which really, it sounds like a lot, but it's really not all that bad. So next up, I have a character from Final Fantasy IX. Her name is Garnet, and this is a smaller one as well. I went ahead and bought two other patterns from Etsy. Um, I'm gonna link these stores below because these people deserve a lot of credit. But yeah, that's all I have for you for this week. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later.